Welcome back to Mercury Farms for episode 5 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Okay people, buckle in. You ready for another fun packed episode? I've got loads to do. Um, fields. Well let's have a look in here, shall we? Field 46 I did, field 37 has been done. The barley off of that, the wheat off of that, the straw swaths off of both have gone into the silo at the animal, the animal farm. Mercury, Mercury animals whatever you want to call it. We're doing cows only. We're doing dairy. I'm thinking this area here, where the pig pen should be, of ploughing it and grassing it. Because we've got grass here. Mind you, that grass goes up and all the way around. That's what I'm going to be looking at today, as well as other things. So my thumbnails will say one thing. However, my thumbnails will be covering, covering a multitude of... Uh, of various different things we're going to be doing. So as it stands at the moment, we've got 271,000 litres of straw already in storage of those two fields. Field 12, yep, yeah, field 12 has been done. That's all the wheat off of field 12. And field 13, you can see the harvest is just over there, just turn around, is doing the barley. So, first job first. I'm going to go and put this into the silo with what we've got already and then I'm going to put it, swap it into the bigger trailer I'm going to take up to Windmill Hill because the price at the moment for wheat is over a thousand for a thousand litres so we might as well do it now you've already seen I've sold a bit of fuel I've sold a bit of water um, I've also I'm trying something else which I'll show you in a minute as well I've had some advice from Bear and Papa I've had advice from loads of people because loads of people are playing this and obviously I'm not as many hours into it as you guys are I play as I do my episodes as I record I don't generally do a huge amount off screen and the things I do off screen are generally just preparing for the next episode so what I'm going to do is pull this to one side just for the moment um, I did buy the Liborto oh no that's the Cultivator isn't it hang on a minute I was going to sell, I'm going to do that as well, just remembered. I was going to sell the Jimper and buy the um, Religieux Frere Weber 6 plough. I think I'm going to do that as anyway, just as a kind of, oh yeah, I forgot all about that. Now, on my last Lone Oak Farm video, I talked a little bit about the mods. Now, it may be that you don't, you're not watching my Lone Oak Farm series, so you wouldn't be aware, and I'm going to the wrong place. I'm not trying to unload, I'm trying to load. Um, my video of my top five most used mods. How much wheat have we got? 39,000 litres. That's going to be a result. Now, how do I get to Windmill Hill from here? Uh, let's see. If we go directly up, take the left, we'll be there. Fantastic. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Um, that's most used. That was the most used mods, the ones I use and everything. Just to clarify that. I'm going to do one on my favourite mods. 
and that will be ones that I like for whatever particular reason. And believe it or not, they're not going to be necessarily the ones you like, because we're all different. That's how the world works. Um, things I like, I'm going to like for my own personal preferences, reasons, what makes me me, you know. And your top five may be different, your top ten may be different, that's just the way it works. I'm not sure I'm going to do a top five favourite maps, because that's hard. Because as I've mentioned a few times before on my videos, there are different types of maps. There are playable maps, like this one, like Sussex Farm, like Spectacle, which are just, I mean, by any other standard, you look at these and they're brilliant maps. Jim's maps are awesome. I love the functionality, the playability, and they come into one category. And then you've got what I classify as the pretty maps, the beautiful maps, the maps. And don't get me wrong, the functionality is there. You can do all, the, you know, the, you can play the game exactly the same. But maps like Sandy Bay, the West Coast, Oakfield Farm, those ones that are just breathtaking. You know that kind of whoa. That's the two different categories I kind of look at. Um, Lone Oak Farm being another one, you know, that it's the uh, the frontier design guys. So they do an amazing job, and again, that does not detract from any other modder or map maker. I didn't add in things like, and again, it's what I'm saying. Uh, oh, I haven't done the chickens, have I? While we're up here. Um, things like ground response, things like seasons, which is a phenomenal mod. It changed the game massively. So ground response, tire dirt, crop destruction. They're all mods. I just kind of put on me personally, mentally, I categorise them differently. I put them into different sections, weirdly enough. I don't know why, it's just the way kind of my mind works. So, to my mind, my most used mods were the mods that machinery, equipment, even tractors to some degree. But I do use the ground response, tyre dirt, um, crop destruction. I use in seasons, I don't use all of them, but those other ones I use on everything. So they are most used, but like I say, slightly different category for me. So. I'm very conscious of the fact that I'm trying to get so much done in each episode and I, I want to get as much done as I can in each episode but then that said I don't want to skip things I'm doing I don't want to kind of say oh I'm doing this and then not show it or you know you know you know how it works so this should be a nice little payout What are we looking at? Yeah, just over 39,000. 39,566 or 56, but regardless, a nice bit of money to add into the coffers. Now, I'm going to go directly down from here, from Windmill Hill, towards Scooter's Livestock. Um, and there's a reason for that too. Um, we now have at Scooter's Livestock, we have Sengstock Slurry of Sengstock Slurry Emporium and Sengstock's Organics um, and obviously there's the manure point that Jim left in uh, and I, I mentioned in another episode I wondered if I could do something and then I had a few people message and say yes you definitely can sounds cryptic we'll have a look when we get down there and then off the back of that cryptic conversation um, Bear and Papa messaged me and said I tried out this and it worked brilliantly so all of those things I'm going to show you hopefully um, and then if I get a chance to I'm going to then get onto some mowing which is what the thumbnail said um, we're going to get some mowing done we need grass we need hay we need I'm probably going to do grass for the bunker silo for silage look at areas like this we've got massive areas now i have had a few comments left as well by people asking why won't it let me cut the grass on field whatever so for example let's have a look here the field i'm driving next to field six 
And I, I did mention this on my first look, and I think on the first episode, Field 6 does not have a blue disc. Because somebody messaged and said, I can't do a job on it, it won't let me mow it. Field 59 doesn't have a disc. Field 6, I believe, up here. No, 60. And Field 51. To buy those fields, you need to go to the vehicle shop. In the vehicle shop, as you go in, on the left and the right, up on the, there's like raised balconies, are the discs to buy those. So when you drive past, they look like nice big open grass fields. It won't let you cut them because you don't own them. You've got to go and buy them first. That said, there are some very large areas of grass dotted around all over the place. So you don't necessarily need to buy them and use them for grass. You can plough them in or do whatever you want. But So if you're wondering why that's not working, it could be because you don't own them yet. You need to go and buy them. If you do want to buy them, you need to go to the store to do so. <clears throat> so, off the back of having Sangstock Slurry here at Scooter's Livestock, um, I took one load, 60,000 litres, up to the BGA and sold it didn't make a huge amount of profit at all uh, I think I doubled my money I think I bought it for 1,300 and something and I made about 3,600 so just over doubled it um, but I get digestate from that so that's crucially important so what we're going to do now is buy some manure and this hopefully will work I, I tried it a second ago but I haven't tried it with a trailer um, so if you haven't seen that episode on the secret, the Mercury Farm secret, I urge you to go and watch it. If not, you can just see what I'm going to do now. Um, what I've got is, we've got Sengstock Slurry just to the right. Jump out. Just to the right here, so that's the slurry buy point, so we can buy slurry. So for slurrying fields, or just taking it to the BGA and selling it to make digestate, that's fine. So what we've got now is this. Now be wary. Please don't watch this with the sound off. This is the Holger Sengstock, the modder. This is the fill trigger tool. Quantum. This is the Grimmy SL8022 Quantum, but this is the fill trigger version. This is not the standard version. So I've backed it up as far as I could get to, and every so often I was pressing L3 until it registered the manure. Once it registered the manure, I stopped it, got out, and let it run up and then I extended it out. So what I should be able to do now is I can now back up any size trailer I want. I might have to lift it a little bit higher maybe to get some of the higher ones under. And I can buy manure. Because when I did the video, The Secret, I said it needs to be a small enough trailer to get in there because I didn't know at that point whether the conveyor belts would work, whether the fill trigger tool would work. Um, and thanks to the people that commented, I kind of in, me, in, in my head thought I'll give it a go then I had people message me and say it does and voila it is working now that's going to take everything off the conveyor belt and then stop so what I've got to do is jump out run down the side again to the fill trigger conveyor jump in it and press L3 oh I've zoomed right out there it's because I was trying to get the distance right and away we go so that now will fill up the Joskin so I'll have 47,000 litres, that's looking really dirty, 47,000 litres of manure in that trailer. Now I can use that for muck spreading and all that kind of stuff. This I'm going to take up to the BGA. This is part of what Baron Papa told me. This may take a little while to fill up. So what I'm going to do now is... Um, I might just skip to the end, like... And there we go. So... We're going to now head to the BGA. Oh, which is right at the other end of the map. The other side of the map. So, end. It's funny, when you start off a Let's Play on any new map, orienting yourself to remember which way is north, south, east, west, so I'm heading east from west and then we will turn and we will head north yeah it's funny your, your mind kind of tries to make head and tail of what, where you are and you kind of follow the road but you don't realize how much it, it sweeps round so yeah we're going to be heading north in a minute um, I'll 
I might even skip this bit because this is going to take quite a while to get there but if I don't drive into a ditch into a lamppost or anything else that appears to be in the way I think helper oops, helper something one of the letters of the alphabet um, has a full grain tank so that'll be the barley just over there which will empty in a bit. The tanker is down just at the water, that's refilled again, ready for its next run. I've done two or three to the greenhouses. I think two. I might have done three, I'm not sure now. Um, so I've got more I can do to the greenhouses. This is, uh, front end seems, one, now this is uh, loaded up. The front end seems a little bit light. I probably could have done putting a weight on the front of this, uh, this Optum, but it's not the end of the world, I'm sure it'll be fine. Whoa, he says. Okay, now, I'm hoping I remember that what I read on the uh, message from Baron Papa correctly. I'm sure it was manure. Like I say, I've already done a load of um, 60,000 litres of slurry into there. So what should happen now is, and I won't, I won't make very much money on this at all. This is another great reason I love Jim's maps. Having these sell points, especially at the BGA, where you can tip out of a trailer, you can put bales in, you can put manure in, you can put slurry. I hope that doesn't hit and splutter. Oh, it doesn't really matter actually. We're not going to make a massive amount of money. Let's be honest. But there we go. What was that? 3,000 and something so yeah we pretty much kind of doubled our money but we've sold it and we haven't made a loss so we've bought some we've sold it great pretty much the same I think if you sell manure at the garden centre you only pretty much double it you don't really do any better than that so let's check this so at the moment we've got 28,000 litres in there that was from the slurry that I sold so now the manure has gone in and that's going to carry on making digestate. The theory here being that I could buy slurry and sell slurry directly to the um, garden centre. Which I tried and I made next to nothing. Which is odd. Because Bear and Papa messaged me and said he took digestate and sold it at the garden centre. And made about 50 grand on a 47,000 litre load. He said he then took a second load and he made about, I'm sure he said about 30. I'm sure that's what he said. So that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is leave that to chug away while we're doing this episode. Um, and then if I remember, <laughs> if I remember, we'll come back and um, with the tanker, we'll sell the water that's in it. I know we're going to be putting digestate in the water tanker, but we can always rinse it out. It's not a problem. Um, We'll fill up the tanker, we'll take it down to the garden centre, to the slurry point, which I'm assuming will take digestate and slurry, and we'll see if we can make a bit of money. If we can, it might be a nice little money spinner, rather than just doing water and just doing um, fuel. It's, it's a bit of a, you've got to bring manure or slurry from there, all the way up here, put it in here, then get the digestate and take the digestate to sell, but if you can make good money doing it, why not? That's kind of that would be part of the process. So anyway, back over to the farm. Um, actually, not back over to the farm. I'm going to stop at the store on the way because we need to get our grass cutting implement. And you probably already know what I'm going to use. Well, I don't know. You might not. You might guess and think I know what he likes to use. However, we shall see. So, at the store, uh, what I was talking about earlier, if you didn't see it on my first look or the second video, um, the blue disc there on the ground floor, blue disc there, there's one there, one there, those are for those four fields. If you want to buy those four fields, that's where you come to. So, we are going to buy, under mowing technology, say technology, I'm going to go for the Fortress E303. I've used the Chrome Big M, I love, 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 love it. Um, but I'm going to get this. It's not going to be cheap. What we're we looking at, 60 grand. Um, but that's the reason for doing all the jobs. So we'll buy that. 
thank you we'll buy that which comes on a lovely little trailer if you didn't watch my guide to on this I urge you to go and watch it it's awesome now with this you can get a tether attachment that but it has to go on the front you can also get a windrow attachment which also goes on the front now it does actually leave a, a windrow anyway so I'm not too bothered about the windrowing aspect of it the tedding I am though I'm going to do grass first but what I am thinking I'm probably going to do and I remember it being under plows from the big bud pack and if you don't have the big bud pack could be an issue the trailed lifter will attach onto the back hitch of the E303 then on that I can put possibly hmm don't know if it'll attach I could put that but I think it'd be the wrong way around um, if not I can use hay bob I've used the Vicon um, hay bobs before and you can get a used one for 3250 um, which I normally stick on a trailed lifter on the back of the um, Chrome Big M so there are options what I'm going to do for this episode is just grass um, I do have the wind row that we already bought in the last episode which means I can wind row up what I do So, let's swing around, get the trailer. Now I'm going to head pretty much over to where the animals are. Because, oh, as I pointed out, so this has got a trailer, a trailer hitch in the back, so you can't actually put... Um, actually there is... No, this is the same problem I had before. There is a Deutzfahr windrower. See, a lot of the windrowers attached with a three-point. There are a couple that can attach onto a normal trailer hitch, but the problem is they spread it all. So the problem is this is a five meter, sorry, that's a five meter header. It puts it into a nice neat windrow, then if you pull a normal tether behind it, it kind of flicks it all back out again, which means you've then got to come back and windrow it all again. So, I don't know, it's kind of, uh, I don't know, whatever, you, whatever your preference is. Let's get the beacon on for the tiny bit of road we're going to be going on. You know, up past hillside, Mercury Hillside Farm. Straight up the top end from there. So we need to be can go off again, we're off the road. Now where the sheep pen is, you can go because I'm not doing the sheep either, that's all grass, which means I can cut that, not a problem. Then there's a gap in the hedge, as far as I can tell, which takes you into that big open expanse. Now that big open expanse isn't a field you need to buy. So as far as I can tell I'm not going to make a definite until I get out there. Um, we should be able to mow all that. Now I'm not going to mow all of that because grass I do need. Mind you, I need a load of grass as well for silage, don't I? So maybe I could. Maybe that whole area I'll mow. I'll get as much grass as I possibly can off of that, and then we'll pick another area for doing hay. Might not be a bad idea. I'm starting to get used to the map. Directions to go after my initial kind of <laughs> being totally uncertain where I was. There's all these areas here with trees in as well. You can come along with the Rayboard Xylor, get all those trees out if you wanted to. If not, leave them and just cut around them. There's loads of grass. I mean, all the stuff I'm driving on now around the edges of the fields, there's plenty. You're not going to run out of grass on this map. Why did I not put cruise control on? Put my finger on the trigger and my finger's aching. So some mowing with a different bit of equipment it's very much like the Massey Ferguson one in the old generation pack but now it might actually be then just looking across the right now the top part of that field is actually hedged in so I could actually come over the Xylor take out that back hedge or even just make a gap in it which means I can go out from the back of there into the grass area beyond so I might do that so what I'll do is I think up the middle with smoke that's what I'm going to do let's hook up and then I think is it how do I mix? takes that away let's turn it on I 
let's get to it. And this is it, this is the, the again I'm going to keep saying it, the beauty of Jim's map. On any other map this would be the sheep area and you can't do anything about that, it's the sheep area. But on Jim's map, because I haven't put the sheep in, I can use it for whatever I want. And I intend to do just that, providing it doesn't slow down too much ground before. So it means it leaves a nice neat swath to then pull a normal tether behind that which would really make a mess of that. I don't know if that's what I want to do. Now obviously there are wider mowing setups. I could use the triple mowers, I could use the chrome big air, you know this. I, I know, I know that, I, you know, I wanted to use this because it's a new mod and I just thought it'd be cool to use it, you know. I can then come in if I want to with my wind rower and put all of these into bigger wind rows so I'm going to collect as much but yeah if we look to the left there's some grass there when we come to the top of here where the hill is if I just quickly check the map like so we are up here now it doesn't obviously show the hedges but we're at the top end there now you've got all of this all up here which I'm assuming we can come right out here that's all going to be grass yeah there are trees so I think what I'll do is come up with the Xylor, we'll stick a gap in the hedge at the back here so we can go through and uh, utilise all of it. Or I can go up the side of it or come round the back, have a thing. But, so we can use as much of the grass as we possibly can around the trees. Bit of a no-brainer, I think, but... So I'm thinking that big open area where the pigs are supposed to be, I probably don't even need to turn that into a grass field. It's just not necessary. It's nice and quiet, it's got a very smooth kind of flowing sound to it, it's not clanky and noisy. So I can do this in a kind of figure of eight to start off with, but I don't need to. Now all of that straw off of fields 12 and 13, 13 which is being harvested at the moment of the barley, I'm going to put all of that in the silo at the main farm. Everything that came off of the other two fields came to this silo here at the animals. That's why I've got 250 odd thousand litres. The, the, everything that comes off of those other fields over by the main farm will go into the main silo. Because if I do get to a point where I need it, I can just shut it over in the trailer. It, it seems silly going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards at the moment when I don't need it. I've got a load in here. Um, but I can do later. And the same with doing the grass here makes more sense because I'm right by the animals where I'm where it's needed, you know. So this is gonna take a while. But again, doesn't matter. It's a cool bit of kit. I'm enjoying using it. So I'll do these two first. Get all the grass off this and I'll see how much I've got. Um, and then because the grass is part of the feed but not a bulk of it, so we don't need as much grass as anything else. Hay, I need a fair bit of it, because of the mixture I do for Total Mix Ration. I do two parts hay to one straw on one side, and again, I know there are loads of different ratios you can do, that's just what I do. So generally speaking, whatever I've got in straw, and whatever I've got in silage, I need double in hay. That's just how I do mine. Um, so I'm going to need a lot of hay. But that will probably be the hay will be in the next episode. We'll hook up. So I don't know how well this is going to pull that big bud trailed lifter. We'll see. This turns very tightly, which is quite handy as well. Means you can kind of keep on line fairly well. But anyway, I'm going to carry on. Get this field done. And then we'll worry about tedding it, collecting it. Um, so I'm going to have loads of fields I'm going to need to collect off of. I've shown you a couple in the episodes of me taking the straw off and I'll probably towards the end of this show me taking some of the grass off but I think you can take it as red it'll be the same method I'm going to use the snow blower I'll windrow it I'll windrow it first I'll use the snow blower on the trailer and I'll come and gather it all up and it'll go into the bunker silo so that's not going to be any different to how you normally do any any part of it really but I just wanted to showcase this So busy looking at it, I want to get warmed. 
the mountain? If you are looking for Alien Jim's um, YouTube channel, I've had quite a few comments, people asking me, where is it, can I put a link in? I could put a link in, but not everybody goes onto my uh, description and not everybody goes onto my Facebook page. My advice is this, when you type in Alien Jim, you'll get a load of videos come up. Loads of videos related to Alien Jim, where his name's been used in the title, where people have done first look map tours, etc, etc. If you scroll down through those um, videos, his channel pops up part way down that list. You might have to scroll down a little way until you get to it. I don't know why it's done that, um, but it just kind of appears a little bit further down. But it is there. It's, it's on there. Subscribe, watch his videos. He's the creator. Anyway, yes. I was going to leave you, wasn't I? that is that that field and that one slightly behind done so we have done some mowing we are using this what I am going to do though is make sure I'm pretty sure that windrower we bought is it a three point link I don't think this have the power to pull it I'm going to leave that there for the moment like I say grass is done Collecting it is going to be a kind of no-brainer. If you've seen straw done, you've seen grass done, I'm going to use the snowblower again, I'm going to windrow it, collect it, and job done. What we are going to do is head back over and make sure that field 13 is going OK. And then we'll go back to the BGA, check on that digestate situation, and hopefully get back over to the store and uh, see if we can make a little bit of money on that. Because that's what I'm, I'm excited about. Well, th field 13 is nearly done. There's a few odds and ends that just need tidying up. Just a couple of, I did a bit, a couple of bits around the outside um, earlier just to make sure it could turn a bit easier. But this actually did this field with little to no grief whatsoever. We've got some more barley to go into storage. Price for barley isn't great, so well, not great at the moment. It doesn't seem a lot of point in me selling it. Um, but we did have what was a good price um, and although it's falling now the price for sunflowers was up at 2400 but I've only got 6000 litres in storage and I thought there's no point buying a field just to do just to you know it seemed a bit daft yeah the barley what we're looking at 737 nothing in the blue I mean if that crept up anywhere knocking around a thousand I would probably get rid of that We've got 27,000 litres in storage, and we've just tipped that. Right, which means we've got... how much in here? Another 15, so pretty much like the wheat was. We're going to have knocking on 40,000 litres. Um, 39, somewhere around there. That's pretty good. Now what I did say I was going to do, and I am going to do, whether I do it off screen or not, I might again it might be a little bit of a time lapse. I might do on this for the start of the next episode. I'm gonna clear this hedge out, this hedge line. Plough the gap between the two. 
obviously all the straws got to come off this and go into the silo so I've got a, I've got quite a bit of work to do off screen prepping for the next episode but that's you know that's part and parcel it's what you do I have been asked a, a fair bit and again I feel bad saying no because I, I have done streams I have done live streams I have done multiplayer I don't do it very often either of them massive reason being for a lot of the guys that I that I know quite well now that's probably the best way of putting it the only way I get to know people is by talking to them and you know backwards and forwards um, but even that a lot of those guys the time difference is huge because they're in America or wherever it is they might be my biggest problem is not that it's not the time difference my biggest problem with multiplayer or streaming is the fact that I've got five kids and a wife and a dog my house is busy and it's a small house we, we've only got you know we live in a small little terrace place um, we've got a loft conversion so the kids have all got their bedrooms etc but they're at work they're in and out they're up and down the stairs they're always talking or singing or mucking around or their mates are over or you know they're teenagers um, my oldest is you know tw knocking on 22 now well she's 22 now she's 22 in August yeah so um, I, I just I don't get a long enough period of time where the house is silent to be able to stream or to do multiplayer and I know that sounds awful I play in my living room I don't have my own separate room I don't have a gaming room that I can close the door or anything like that um, occasionally when I have done streams and multiplayer it's been because for some freak coincidence some happening some chance they're all out my wife's at work or she's gone out or they've gone out with her or they've gone to see a movie all together which they don't often do and I suddenly sit there and think the house is quiet there are going to be no interruptions for a good couple of hours that's when I often get the opportunity but it's very random it's very hard for me to say I'll say I'm going to do it on this time this you know because it just doesn't work it doesn't survive contact with my kids I'm afraid my family and the situation but it is yeah like i say it is what it is i feel bad saying that to people and i'm really hoping when 19 comes out i can try to free up some more time um to be able to do it but there's no guarantees what was i going to do oh yeah uh bga and we'll grab the tank what i'll do i'll grab the tanker first we'll take that to the garden center we'll sell the water then we'll go up to the bga with that tanker and whatever we've got in that digestate tank We'll fill up the tanker and we'll take it to the garden centre and we'll sell it and we'll see how we get on. Um, but I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be busy. So I've got about, very unlike me and my OCD, I've got about four unfinished jobs scattered around the place which I really do need to get done. So let's go and grab the tanker. Okay this I'm going to take to the garden centre I'm going to drive it up to one of the uh, greenhouses and that's the beauty of this I just spent 50 60 grand on the uh, mowing thing if I can get 25 30 if I'm lucky for selling a load of this that's a big chunk of that paid off already we are keeping ourselves solvent I don't like to stop because when I do it takes a while to get this going I do need to raise enough money to earn enough money to buy my own truck because I'm still leasing this every hour I use it I'm getting clobbered but never mind ok I've done the top two I think I did one of the bottom ones on episode two I think I'm just conscious of trying to use a different one each time, I don't know. Let's back up so I get the water one. Okay, and go. Come on. Oh, that's looking good. 32,000. Nice. I'm happy with that. 
Now, as far as I'm aware, when I bring the digestate back, I'm selling it here at the slurry sell point. Now, if this doesn't work, Bear and Papa, I would be very upset. Now, he did mess with me say I play on normal. I do too. Always have done. And that was the point, I, the comment I made a, a few episodes back. I can't remember which, which Let's Play it was on now. Um, might have been on Up in the Sage Share. Might have been on Lone Oak. Um, that I've only ever played on normal. And when FS19 comes out, I might have a crack at hardcore. On the hard mode, you know. the Start with nothing and build your way up. I think that might be nice for a Let's Play. Because I've never... Although I've started farms from scratch and built my way up, I just think that might be quite a nice challenge to start myself off, off on. Subscriber contracts will be incredibly hard to do straight away, so we may need to get a little way in to FS19 before I can even consider taking any contracts. Because I don't know how I would fulfil them, <laughs> in, in all honesty. Whoa. Like I say, whatever we've got, whatever's in that um, digestate tank, we'll take. I'm sure because he said he did 47,000 litres of manure. Don't know if it does. Does it do a one for one on manure? I think it does, doesn't it? Slurry it doesn't, but I'm pretty sure on the manure it does a one for one. So I should have at least 47,000 litres, but I don't know. Depends how long it takes to process it all. But we'll take whatever. If it fills it, fills it. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That went a bit squeaky, didn't it? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, what am I doing? I'm watching the thing rotating over there and not actually paying attention to what I'm doing. Let's see what we got. Looking good so far. I passed 47. Can we fill this? 60,000 litres of digestate. So, I don't know realistically what's the difference between selling slurry and selling digestate. Why would you get more for the digestate than the slurry? I, I, you know, I know obviously they're, they're different things in reality, they're different things, but I don't know if in the game can you differentiate that much by selling them? I don't know. We're about to find out. This could be an unmitigated disaster. Or it could be cha ching we will see so now I've got vehicles dotted around the place where that case needs to go back and a very weird thing happened with the fuel as well because um, it we went into another day and I did my remembrance episode I thought oh, I'd do another load of fuel and I only got about 50,000, I say only, I only got 50,000. The first time I did it, I think on episode one or, or what, yeah, episode one, I made over 100, and then all of a sudden, not so much. So, ooh, don't know what happened there. It's not like I've been selling load after load after load after load, I just don't know. So we'll see how this gets on, and then, uh, yeah. Oh, fingers crossed, it's a lot. I will hold my breath. <laughs> the moment of truth. Oh! Oh ho ho! Does that say 123,000? Digestate is my friend! <laughs> oh my days! Baron Papa, thank you so much. That is worth the work. Believe me. Um, if you've got the slurry um, shop, installed downloaded place it on your map if not the manure points already there you haven't got to install it 
it's already on the map Jim's got it there get the fill trigger tool load up a trailer if you want to use a 70,000 trailer do the 70,000 get it over to the BGA let it process stick it in the tanker bring it back wallop that was brilliant Baron Papa thank you thank you thank you <sighs> I'm happy with that right well on that success on that success I'm going to go and rinse out the back of the tanker because that's now full of digestate um, we've come to the end of this episode ending on a high I've got a load of work to be getting on with I've got a load of grass to do I've got to sort out all that straw that I need to get all done before the next episode then we need to do some hay we need to get some hay made get that stored once we've done all of that we're ready for animals we can get ourselves some cows and with the way we're making money we'll be able to get a load of cows which was my intention so I'll see you on the next one I hope you've enjoyed this one if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching <laughs>